I'm not a coffee drinker, but I love the way it smells. My daughter is the only coffee drinker in our home and she makes her coffee in a coffee maker. And you know, it's kind of hard to appreciate the process when you smell a hot, fresh cup of coffee. It's hard to appreciate what it took to get there. You see, before it became this cup of coffee, it was coffee seeds. And those coffee seeds had to be planted in the ground in a dark place. And then once those seeds were harvested, they had to be dried. And then after they were dried, they would then be roasted in a roaster that would exceed 550 degrees Fahrenheit. And then after going through roasting, those coffee beans now or seeds would have to be crushed and pulverized in a grinder, literally changing the composition of each bean. And if that were not enough, after going through a grinder, they would have to, that roasted, grinded coffee would then have to be boiled and brewed in boiling hot water. What a process. Had to go through all of that to get here. You see, sometimes we look at successful people and we look at where they are, but we have no clue what they went through to get there. The dark places, the grinding, the crushing, the things that broke them down, the difficulty they went through. And sometimes we want what they have, but that's because just like that coffee, we caught a whiff and fragrance of their success, but we have no idea what it took for them to get there. I'm Keith Battle, and that's something to think about.